beautiful people, Stephanie here, and today I'm going to update you on the direction of my YouTube channel based on my current copyright strike. Now, if you haven't seen the video, um, about a month ago I received my first copyright strike and I did make a video explaining how this affects my channel, what this means, the restrictions it places upon me at the moment, and everything like that. So I have linked that video up here on the eye and in the description. I'll pop it at the end of the video as well. Please do go and watch that so you can see the predicament I was in and then come back here and watch this video to see how we're moving forward. So let's get into it. First things first, um, I just wanted to thank everybody who commented on that video with your incredible suggestions. It is so nice to have so many people just come out and support me and give me ideas that I didn't have. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, one of my main issues was the fact that with a copyright strike, YouTube can delete my channel if I get three copyright strikes in a row. So as I have a lot of music on my channel that's already... Um, copyrighted music that I don't have permission to have on there. I was concerned that I might get some additional strikes and and then my channel would be deleted and I didn't have all of my videos backed up. I didn't really have the time to download all of my videos and actually three different people went ahead and did that on my behalf. So thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I have actually managed to save the majority of my content now. So I do have a backup, which is awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Secondly, um, I took the advice that people gave me and went ahead with public domain music. So the last month or so, if you've been following my channel, you'll notice I've done a lot of older music, um, a lot of Irish folk music and traditional music, because none of that music is copyrighted. So public domain music is free for anybody to use and play um, without any copyright restrictions. So that is the direction I'm heading at the moment for the 90 days that my current copyright strike is active. Now my copyright strike is actually, well, it should disappear sometime in November unless I get any additional strikes within that time. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping I can just sort of sit gently under the radar until then and I might be able to move back into some other things from there. But honestly, there is such a lot of public domain music that it would be nice to continue in this direction. I've also been able to get in touch with um, a few different musicians and bands and artists who have given me permission to cover their tunes, which is incredible. So I have a list of about three or four at the moment who have said, yes, I can make covers and tutorials of their music and post them on YouTube, which is incredible. Thank you to everybody who's allowed me to do that. I'm also looking for other suggestions. So if you know of folk bands or artists that you love, that you think might be willing to be contacted, who might have the time to reply to me, and you'd like me to play their music, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try my best to get in touch with those bands as well. So hopefully we should have a selection of incredible original music from folk bands all over the world eventually that I have permission to publish here on YouTube, which is awesome. With regard to music that is copyrighted, I have looked into a lot of game music and music that other people seem to be doing a lot of covers of. So although I wouldn't directly have permission to do this, and technically I, I would have copyright issues, um, it shouldn't lead to another copyright strike because a lot of different people do have um, kind of an agreement with YouTube that will allow you to play that music. Just checking in to see if loads of other people have covered uh, certain game tunes without any problems. Um, so yeah, that could be a way forward as well. Obviously, tips videos are always useful. I can make those without any problems. Making whistle reviews and technique videos as well. Reviewing other instruments that could be useful alongside tin whistle. All of these are great ways to add content to my channel that doesn't include copyrighted music. And of course, as I mentioned, for anybody that does want to play for example, mainstream pop tunes or rock music that might be copyrighted, if you did want to purchase a tutorial, usually I would have published that on YouTube, but what I'll do is I'll be able to create that tutorial and send it to you privately, and then you'll still get to learn that, but we won't have a public um, display of that tune, so hopefully I shouldn't really have any copyright issues. It will be a private video tutorial between a teacher and a student, so it should come under fair use. So that is kind of where we are. <laughs> um, Maybe it's not been the most exciting month of tunes, but I have found some gorgeous old music and I hope to 
go through um, different cultures of music as well. There are some beautiful old Welsh tunes that I'm going to post as well. And obviously every other country has their own folk music. So if you have traditional folk music suggestions from your country or any old lullabies or anything you think would be amazing, leave them in the comments down below. I will look into it and hopefully be able to feature those as well. Also, if you are a musician and you create your own music, and you'd like me to play that on my channel for my followers and listeners to enjoy, then please do get in touch. You'll find my email here on YouTube and I'm on all the socials as well, so you'll find me there. So the good news is we are in a position to keep learning Tin Whistle and that is incredible. Again, thank you guys so much for all your suggestions and all your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the tunes that I'm putting out at the moment. Um, yeah, that is it from me. I'll check back in when the copyright strike hopefully eventually ends <laughs> and we might be able to do something uh, a little bit more risky. See you guys again soon. Bye!